As you can see, I lost the argument to Thomas. I feel really weird. I mean, you should never say never. I hope this is not too confident. You should in the middle. And the boys, the boys are running. Yeah. Came back from injury. It's good to have another bike session tomorrow. So then we have, we have to Friday, we have double run day. And can I have a session again. combination? Maybe? Nah. As you can see, I lost the argument to Thomas. I gotta go cycling today. Two to three hours. But I guess it's gonna be three hours, definitely. You may have seen an Instagram. I asked you to send some questions about the cross training I do. Because I do it quite often. In this video, I'm gonna reply to all these questions. I'm gonna answer these. So the first question was if I have a favorite route uh, around St. Moritz. Of course I have a few. When I go on the road I go to Lake Como and back. And when I go on gravel I go into the Val Rosec. It's a really nice area. You ride into a glacier valley. It's beautiful. You will see it later. In which range is your heart rate? So it's definitely lower than in running. I would say 10 heartbeats lower. Like easy rides at 130 and threshold at like 160. Question was um, if I'm also doing threshold training on the bike or only the basic endurance training. I'm doing both. If the season is quite far away, I'm definitely having some threshold trainings on the bike. For example, between 6 to 10 by 6 minutes at 4 to 5 watts per kilogram body weight. Yeah, I quite enjoy these sessions because you, you got quite far. At breakfast, I had a massive bowl of porridge this morning. Combined with eight kiwis and two pears. You waste a lot of energy in training, especially when you go longer than two hours. And I think it's absolutely necessary to be fueled perfectly. And you're very well prepared for the next days of training. How many watts do you push? Um, it depends what kind of training session we are in. In an easy ride, I'm around 200 watts to 250, so like. 3 watts per kilogram body weight and threshold training between 4 to 5 watts per kg body weight so between 280 and 350 watts I'm 70 kilos heavy, you don't have to calculate My shifting of my bike ran out of battery and I didn't bring a wire for it <laughs> yeah, The local bike shop is sorting us out So one of the questions was if I'm ever going to be a triathlete I mean you should never say never. If I improve one day to attack Hayden Wild, this is Angus, future Kate Ledwig winner. It's gonna make it tough today for us. We're gonna push her out. Okay, go to the start. What happened that you need to do cross training? Yeah, I used to do cross training a lot when I was way younger. Like when I was 16 or 17 years old, we went on like mountain biking camps or like cross country skiing camps with the school. But of course, I got injured in the last two or three years quite often. And so I had to find different ways to uh, keep my endurance level up. That's why you'll find me in the pool sometimes or on the bike. I didn't promise too much. It is ridiculously nice here. They are and Angus getting dropped there. But I definitely prefer cycling because I don't like the way how I look after the pool, the goggles. How do you do it in the competition preparation? Is it only running or still mixed? It's definitely more running, of course. I use the cross training for recovery sessions, like once a week or maximum twice a week. Not so often. There's another valley behind this. So we're gonna ride down the valley we're in right now and then we're going up the next valley. Um, I'm doing the... No, that's how it's correct. Can high volume of cross training sig significantly benefit an athlete while doing high mileage? Um, I think it's a good uh, alternative to doing high mileage when you're not able to tolerate so much mileage. So this is the case for me. I cannot run 180, 190 kilometers like my training partner, so I have to find different ways. And this works really well for me. I think I'm, I'm a quite good example that it works. I hope this is not too confident. <laughs> now uh, we're going back to Samurai. So let's go. Um, are you doing some elliptical or only uh, cycling and swimming? I'm not doing elliptical. I feel really weird doing this movement. 
Um, but if people like it and if they enjoy it, feel free to do it. I don't feel so comfortable doing it. <laughs> how often do you cross train per week and for how long usually? When, we, when we're in September or, oct or October, I'm basically cross training every day or five to six times a week. Yeah, and of course, when, we're, when we have race season, I'm doing maximum one cross training session a week. You should in the middle. Oh, let me flex with my road bike. I love this bike. Um, yeah, of course, the handlebars are not meant to be like this. It's just because of the transport. Yeah, because you, because you were fueling right. Yeah. That's why you're not hungry. This is for my breakfast tomorrow. It was the last package. I have one package each morning. This is my secret. Eight kiwis in the morning. George Mills appreciation. He introduced me into the world of these drinks. <laughs> Who's, who's brought hell? Is it today? Mm. So you my favorite water. I am starving. I'm starving. Now we have a really long way home. Huh. All the runners out there, hey. they're watching this video. I hope you are motivated now to be brave enough to go on the bike and to reduce some mileage. Hey and to push some walks.